The treadmill is the most popular piece of exercise equipment in America. More than 50 million people use them. But the government says treadmills are also the most dangerous, with good reason, as early show consumer correspondent Susan Copen reports. Julie Osborne never imagined that her daily workout could be hazardous to her health. I've never experienced any kind of pain like that before. Julie was running on her home treadmill when she hopped off to grab water. The belt was still rolling when she tried to get back on. I lost my balance, put my hand down to try and stabilize myself, and my three fingers got stuck between the frame and the running track. The belt rolled over her hand and sheared off skin. When my hand came out, I could actually see exposed bone. Eight-year-old Annabelle Ford was on her family's treadmill when she was seriously injured. Her hand was caught under the mat, and as it kept going around, it was scraping off skin and burning her fingers. Annabelle suffered severe burns and a broken middle finger. We found plenty of videos on YouTube of people falling on treadmills. They crash into walls. They hit their heads hard. According to the Consumer Product Safety Commission, treadmills sent an estimated 19,000 people to the emergency room in 2009, including close to 6,000 children. Among the injuries, broken bones, amputated fingers and concussions. In 2009, Mike Tyson's four-year-old daughter died after being strangled by a cord on a treadmill in his home. And a moving belt is like falling off a bicycle at uh, 10 miles an hour. Ed Trainer is a fitness and treadmill expert. A treadmill requires focus and responsibility. So we think it's so easy to be on a treadmill, but just talking to you, I've noticed I've it, stepped off the belt a yes, couple times. Yes, it's the distractions that occur while you're on a treadmill that cause most injuries. As for Julie Osborne, she still suffers from pain in her right hand. Annabelle is healing, and her mom says they've learned a lesson. It's important to know that these things can cause some serious damage. Susan Copen, CBS News, New York.